Less well-armoured reptiles, like lizards, are vulnerable, of course, to hawks and coyotes and foxes and cats. And in the morning, when those warm-blooded animals are already active, the lizards are cold and can't move fast, so they have a problem. But they also have a solution. Secret sunbathing. You really can't see them until you're right on top of them. And there's one there. I'm in Arizona, and that at my feet is a lizard buried in the sand up to its neck. Even while it's buried, it can use the sunshine to warm its whole body. It can control the supply of blood to its head so that it pools in a cavity behind the eye. Soon, the blood there is as much as five degrees above the temperature of the rest of its body. Then the animal opens the major blood vessels in its neck and the hot blood circulates so that its whole body is thoroughly warmed even though it's still mostly below ground. This is a horned lizard, and very beautiful too. This particular species is called the regal horned lizard because it has this splendid crown of spikes at the back of his neck. When he's hidden, they break up the outline of his head and so you hardly see him at all. And now, in the warmth of my hand and in the sunshine, I guess he's warmed up quite a lot. And if I put him down, he now, at last, may be able to run for it. And indeed he does.